friends, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel Farah Feeds. I hope you all are doing good. Uh, well, today is a Friday vlog and uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to shoot all my videos. Uh, we, we prepared some ghee rice, dalcha and uh, dalcha is basically we cook with some lentils and uh, vegetables and uh, and, and also going to prepare uh, some chetinado mutton masala as well. Uh, yes, of course, I posted a, a video of the Chetinado Masala in my early vlog, but I wasn't very, uh, uh, you know, convinced with the video, in fact, due to some quality issues and all that. So I thought I will do a much more uh, detailed, uh, you know, recipe today. And uh, yes, of course, I might be deleting uh, the uploaded video of the previous version. So I'm just going to make a new video of the Chetinado Masala for proper focus and all that. Uh, so let's begin with the recipe quickly. Uh, so to start with the recipe, I have my oil heated up in the pan and I'm going to add in some whole fennel seeds which is about one and a half teaspoon. So this fennel seed is very important for this recipe to give the best aroma. So there goes in first. Um, let me wait uh, to feel the smell for a minute. We don't have to over fry the fennel seeds in fact. Um, just until you get the you know perfect uh, smell from it. Uh, perfect friends, so we will move on to the next step. I'm adding in uh, two big onions chopped with some curry leaves. So we have to store this onions for a while. Well, you can see that my onions have turned to be a little translucent. We don't want to over fry them. So at this stage, we will add in our tomatoes. This is just one medium tomato chopped. And sort this for a while. While my tomatoes are sorting and cooking, I'm just adding in the salt. Perfect. Then goes in a pinch of turmeric. And we will wait for the tomatoes to turn a little soft and mushy. And then move on to the next step. Alright, next I'm adding in the ginger garlic paste. Close to one spoon. Just nice. Perfect friends, I have sorted the ginger garlic paste. So quickly we will add in all our spices. Alright, there goes in one teaspoon of the Kashmiri red chili powder. One teaspoon of pepper. One teaspoon of coriander powder. One teaspoon of cumin powder. And two teaspoon of the Sakti Martin Masala powder. And finally, one teaspoon of the fennel powder. So that's it. I'm just going to fry the spice masala along with the tomatoes and the onions. So next goes in the mutton. You can see the base masala. It's quite well. And looks perfect. And brilliant. So we will add in our mutton. This is close to half kg mutton. So I'm just going to add it. Perfect. So cook this mutton along with the base masala for a couple of minutes before you add in the water. So I'm just going to combine the mutton well with the masala and allow it to cook. I think, yeah, just one to two minutes is just nice and then we will add in our water. Perfect friends, I have cooked the mutton along with the masala. Now let's add the water. Okay, I've added about 200 ml of water for the mutton to cook. I think um, you have to add in another 100 ml because this water won't be sufficient. So another... Perfect. All right, so I'm going to pressure cook this uh, for some time and I will get back to you soon once my mutton masala is ready. 
Okay, while my muffin is cooking, I'm just adding a dash of pepper in fact. Perfect friends, the mutton masala is ready. So I'm just going to add in some coriander, fresh coriander. Give it a stir. And it's perfect to go. It looks awesome and in fact I just tried it. It tastes awesome as well. Welcome back friends. Yeah, finally the Chetinado mutton masala is ready. This is a closer view of it. It's scrumptious. It's a must-try recipe. In fact, it goes excellent with your hot steamed rice or ghee rice and even your rotis. So please go ahead and give it a try and post your comments in the comment section. So I will end my video here. So this is Farah Feeds signing off for today. Until I see you in my next interesting video. Until then, see you all. Bye. Take care.